kidding. That was big. I don't know what it was. Oh, sh here we go. Got him. Oh, got that Here he not a giant one, I don't think. Just kidding. Just kidding. Looks like we're going to be eating stuff that tastes like fish because our uh, seasoning don't come out too well here. What is up, MFers, and welcome to the frozen freaking tundra. We're out here. We got my main man, Cole Slaw, the camera guy. We got Jonathan we were with yesterday, Jonathan the MFer, and Bodie the fishing pup. And we're at probably the best trophy fishing lake that I've ever been to in my life. Last year, we caught some freaking epic specimens here. And as you saw, we got some turbulent weather coming in here. We got snow blowing, we got blizzard conditions. The wind's supposed to blow at 40 gusts to 60 miles an hour today. But the reason we're braving these conditions out here in the middle of nowhere is because we know what lives right out there. It's kind of sketchy. There's open water on this lake out there, um, way out over there. A couple guys, I guess, went through yesterday on some four wheelers. We gotta be very careful today, but we got ice picks, we got cell phone reception, we got multiple people. We should be good to go, uh, and, and hopefully we can we can show you guys what exactly lives here because this place, when it shows out, is honestly probably unlike anywhere else um, that does not have Great Lake run trout, and it also has giant walleye. Catch and cook on the ice. I hope. Enough of me talking though. Let's get out there. You ready for this coleslaw? Well, as you guys can see, we are plenty safe right here. I'd say we got close to a foot of ice, maybe a little thicker than that even. First things first, we're gonna kind of spread some jaw jackers up. We got the hut out here, the heater and everything, but we don't want to set up until we're uh, we're on the juice where we're getting some bites. John has one, uh, a hole drilled with his transducer down in line with this. It's about eight feet. He said anywhere from four to 10 feet. So we're gonna kind of spread them out, see if we get some go off. That one went off. He's on, dude. It's okay, Bodie. It's a light bite. Didn't get him. He was on, too. At least they're biting. They're coming through, Cole. Like I was saying, when they bite here, they're the right ones, so you don't want to lose them. We've got our jaw jackers kind of spread out over this drop off of six to 12 feet, and they're just rolling through here. Oh, oh he's ripping it. He's going. Oh, no. Oh. Christ. He's not a giant one, I don't think. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. About lost it down the hole on that one. Yep. Hopefully this fish is longer than that rod. Hopefully the fish is longer than the rod. You never know here. Could be a damn megalodon. You got a gigantic sucker on? <laughs> yeah, I got a big old sucker. That ain't a sucker. That's a pink one. Nice. Pink headed trout. <laughs> Not a mega giant, but a good one. What are we doing, bud? Just gonna pull her in. Ooh, he's got a little thing in the bottom of his jaw. That's a fatty. Yeah! 
Hell yeah, thing, dude. dude. That's a good start. Yeah. That Woo some bitch will eat. Look at the really, freaking gut I on that seen fish. A child built like that. That's crazy. He's, uh, oh he's been my. eating his dinner. That is incredible. Bodie, what do you think? Look at that beautiful pinkness and the little tiny fly jig in the bottom jaw. Yeah. We're out here in the elements. This is awesome. Like no spots. I know, it's crazy. What's up with this fin? I don't know. Somebody it's completely it. rubbed off or bit off or something. Sweet. You bet. This guy's getting eight. So Probably 20 inch fish. <laughs> He'd only be about a 17 if he didn't have the top part of his tail. The bottom part's gone. Hell yeah. It's a start. And he is making my hands so cold. But well, that's good though. Your jaw tractor went off three times in the past 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it did. Oh. Things are going crazy. Damn it. Not anymore. I moved for a minute, didn't yeah. He was under yeah, he was on for quite a little bit. That's crazy. All right, well. One after another. At least we're getting bites. Yes. Let's get them. <laughs> oh, he's going with it. Oh no. Yeah, I'm still. I think he came off. No, he might be on. Yeah, he's on there. He's on still. The no, furthest, other ones. furthest <laughs> one away, of course. It's okay. We haven't had a bite for like an hour after we had bites con consistently for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Eight bites in 20 minutes, no bites for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> With a bunch of rods out. Not a chicken jaw jackers. Yeah, just, just jigging away. Gotta be a big one. I'll get them for you. Cody. Half an yeah. hour. <laughs> He's decent. I still haven't seen him though. Uh uh. There's so much shitty water up here on top, it's hard to see anything. There's a lot of weight to him. Oh, that was a big head shake. There he is, a big rainbow. Yeah, it is. That's a real big one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a male. So pink. You can see its jaw, it's a male. Yeah, it's kiped. We're just gonna wait, Bodie. Man. That big one I caught took me 25 minutes to get it in. Was it that? Yeah, it was ridiculous. Hey. No. It's just like frustrating. It seemed like a really oh long my fight, god. The way you guys were reacting. Yeah. Yeah, with these rainbows, it's so hard. You can't horse them. Yeah, you not you, you can't at all. That's a big one, dude. Doesn't want to come, doesn't I feel like those really colorful males just are mean and pull harder too. Yeah. Like that one I just had is fat, fat, fat female. Didn't do anything. Came up like one, a beach whale. One run. This guy doesn't want to give up. Uh uh. I'm keeping my eye on the other ones. I'm wondering if there's some coming through. Yeah, no kidding. Come on, buddy. Nice. Yes. That was on the spoon. On the spoon. Damn, yeah. dude. Jigging jaw jacker. Hell yeah, that's so pretty. That's Look at that nice fish, thing. man. That thing's beautiful. Here, buddy. So this is a different rig than we usually use. He's actually got the jigging attachment on the jaw jacker, so it just kind of up and down real slow, consistently. There's different settings on those too, isn't there? Yeah, they come with three different jigging wheels. That one's the tooth wheel. Uh-huh. And uh so it has three different motions it can do. Watch out, Bodie. Bodie, come here. He's like, what? No, stay. <laughs> stay. Hell yeah, man. Male yeah. this time. Yeah. Totally I different forgot. colored and built fish. 21, 22 incher. Yeah, for sure. Yours was way fatter. Yeah. Built completely different. Watch out, Bodie. Nice fish, man. Nice. No skunk. No skunk. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm, super, I'm sorry. I, I was like, want to leave you hanging. Please don't I pound turned. it. Please don't pound it. <laughs> Oh, that jacker's cut off the Well, f*** Cole. Jacker off. Nope. Oh, shit. One of my jackers is up here. No fix, though. They must be coming through. Yeah. It's happening again. It's all happening. Finally. <laughs> Huh. Oh shit, here we go. Got him. <sighs> Got his ass. Oh my god, he's right here. Oh, it became off. Oh. Wasn't a big one anyway. <laughs> jigging. Jigging. Came out of nowhere, dude. Came out of nowhere. Jonathan had his jigging jaw jacker out. I'm really glad that wasn't a big fish. And uh, he got bit on it a couple times, so I decided I was going to jig a little Swedish nipple in here. If you guys are wondering what a Swedish nipple is, that's a Swedish nipple right there. And I hook something much larger now. Probably something much dumber, too. There we go. Here's another one. Get his ass. Yep. He's all sorts of, oh, he's a, it's a oh, walleye! Oh, oh baby, the yes. walleye over here! Yes! Oh my god! That's crazy, dude. That is nuts! You have no idea how nuts that is! And there's some big walleye in here. We're fishing that later. That's a perfect eater, too. Yeah, it is. Even though it's little here, okay. there's no, there's no uh, size restriction. Sick. Here, buddy. Buddy, over here, buddy. I can't believe they're on this side. None of my buddies have ever caught one on this side. You're the first Could one. Could be a random one, too. Good job! Deal. Mine need to freshen ours up. You said there's a fish? Caught open! I was running with the wind. It felt like it got a lot nicer outside, but... Hey, it's okay. Good trout. You got the hot ah. Lost him. Yeah. On the freaking worm, too. That doesn't usually happen. This guy. Oh, there's one. Big one. Yeah, baby. Trout? Yeah. Nice. Got it. Cody said that. I probably need you, Jonathan. Okay. I'm all ready. Just had to say something. Nice work. Freaking hooked up on the nip. Here, I think he's close. Yep. Oh, oh, a monster. No monster suckage. Come on. Big multi species guy today. That's a giant sucker, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at that. Look at that belly. <laughs> Suckers need love, too. Dude, that thing is beefy. Look at that, look at that thing. What do you think, Bodie? Just like the other oh my goodness. Here, let me just get that down. I'll just put it on the hole. What the hell? <laughs> That's definitely the biggest sucker I've ever freaking caught. Things giant. Jigged him up. Jigged him. Look at his little leathery lips. And he took it line. He did. Do I keep it or throw it on the ice? Do I throw <laughs> it on the ice or let it go? I felt like they're invasive, so you're supposed to not put them back. They say that a lot of places for sure. It doesn't really matter. We'll let this guy go. I think the fish are doing okay in this yeah, lake. Look how, fine. I mean, look how thick that thing is in the back. Some bitch is eating. <laughs> Jeez. Well, sorry, Bodie. We're not going to do a sucker catch and cook this time. Bye, sucker. I thought this was a sucker free Sunday, but I guess not.
Oh my god, that's gotta be a trout. It came out of nowhere. Jesus, man. Right. It's a trout. I saw him. Shredding it. That's a sucker. That's not a sucker. <laughs> that's not a sucker. He bit, and the mark showed up at the exact same time. It's weird. It's like not active fish, yet they're just hauling ass up to this thing and smashing it. Yeah, you're getting it's so strange. Ooh. Damn fighter, anyway. Seth? So we got a Seth. Jesus. 28 inch walleye. 28 incher, he says. <laughs> They're in here. Oh, yeah. Looks like a. I don't think a walleye would fight like this, but. Yeah, a big enough one. Might. Big enough one might. You're right. That's exactly what my daughter's. Doing. Okay, that was big. I don't know what it was. Did you see it first? I saw a tail whip by there. Gross. Freaking Swedish nipples. The nips. Nips are getting her done. You're behaving very nice, Bodie. Yeah, Bodie. Very you're good. you're a great observing pup right now. What's going on? That is appreciated, my man. Is he gonna catch it? What is he? Oh, I thought he came off. Oh, oh it's a trout. Oh, I was like, what the hell? He's hooked good, it looks like. It's like through and backwards. Too handy sandy. They fight so much harder when they're that size. Get the net. Get the net, Bodie. All right. You bet. Yeah, hut's about to blow away. The wind's blowing about 300 now. Anywhere else that we'd be fishing, We'd probably be losing our mind about this 19 inch trout. So silvery, pretty, beautiful fish. I think I'm actually gonna let this one go. It's not a mega giant. We like to stake them, which we're actually gonna do with that first one we caught, I think, and cook them up here in a little bit. But um, this one's not big enough to stake. And I don't know, it seems like the bigger they are here, the better they taste. Beautiful, fun fight. <laughs> Fighting like a 22 incher. Dude, no kidding. Out of his mind. All we're doing, taking this, this is the smallest size Swedish pimple. It's the uh, the green version, which Dude, I don't know if that matters. Right here is, up. is it really? Yeah. Does it do anything? No, it's not doing anything. It's just had to. A lot of stuff. The wind's just making it do Yeah. It. We're just tipping this with a little tiny piece of nightcrawler. That's always been the deal for the trout the nightcrawler has. Just a very simple little piece there. But then we also got walleye in this lake too. As you can see with my little 13 inch guy there. He ain't tiny. You got one on over there, Jonathan? Oh, on? he's oh, up. On. Yep, yep, doubles. Doubled up. John's got one. We've got one. Just had to put a new battery in the guy. Just had to put a new battery in the guy. Get dialed in on our uh, Jigging in the hut in there. Let's go see what John's got. I'm gonna take this guy over there. <laughs> and a piece of ice. Having... I got a piece of ice on my pole that I can't get Oh, and you're stuck in there. I'm, I'm having a piece. Did he come off? Nope. Oh, uh, he just came off. Double. About like double a little smaller up. than this one. Hell this yeah! Piece, this piece of ice? Got stuck, stuck in there. Nice, dude. Sweet. They came through. They did come through. There's got to be more, though, so. Um, I think I got a fish on out there. Uh. Oh, yeah. Up shallow.
fish. Good fish anywhere you go. Yeah. Here, it's kind of just like a below average one. Right. <laughs> nice fish. Good job. Ready? Sick. Kick. There he goes. Good one, man. Nice. Good work. John's hooked up. There he is. Another the Another basic guy. Yeah. Right. He saw us. He did. Here comes Cole. Cole's got that Olympic spring. Here he comes. God dang. That was a good one, Cole. Or, good one. or something. Maybe it was a bad one. Typical Seth. <laughs> I don't know how those guys do those tail grabs. Dude, That's seriously. The fish have to be way bigger. Yeah. Come on. That'll do it. Well, now my hand's numb. There we go. That a babe. Beefy little bastard. That's like a one year old. Yeah, that's insane. Pretty fish. Woo. That one's fins are a lot prettier than the rest we've caught today. Beauty, don't you know? Oh, here, bud. Fish, see ya. <laughs> All, right. All right. Good one. It has come time to take my big, beautiful, fat-bellied lady oh, with janky on. fins. And I got to fish him. Yeah, Where's he at? Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I haven't had a bite on this pole in so long. Oh, my God. Trying to clean fish. Oh, I got an ice issue. Yeah, one of what I had. One of those type of guys. Get off there. There we go. Pretty heavy. They all are though. Oh, trying to flay fish in there. Oh. He's already up. He's just a little pecker. Just a. Not that little pecker. <laughs> ah, he's been on for about two hours. <laughs> nice fish. We haven't had the best day, best of luck on giant ones, but we've had a lot of bites, and when you're getting 18 to 20 inch bites, pretty much every time it goes off, you can't complain. But we're gonna go in the hut now. We're gonna fillet, actually not fillet, we're actually gonna stake that trout up, fillet part of it, the back part of it. Yeah, go for it. And then we are going to cook it up, have a little bit of lunch. It's going to be delicious, I think, but not keeping the smaller ones today. Get them back in. Sweet. Okay, time to gut this guy and stake this guy for real this time. Unless we have another bite. The fins in this thing are weird. That actually happens, for those of you guys wondering, when they're uh, at the hatchery. They rub and rub and rub against the uh, concrete walls and all the metal infrastructure and they end up looking like weirdness. I'm kind of curious to see what is in this giant trout belly. Ooh, look at that. Is it? Yeah, it is for sure. Maybe it'll be like the other day when we tried to get eggs down the hole. There's a couple of eggs. See, I don't know if these are eggs, remember? Because they were like that last time. But look at that. I don't know if it's like shrimp. Yeah, it's it's like loose in the belly though. You're right. So it, like this is where they're eating. Yeah. This yeah, is their belly. Exactly. But the eggs like have their own sack. I don't, dude. I don't know what that is. So that would be the eggs. Here's what they've been eating. Look at that. Crawdads. Should have brought the damn finesse jig out here. Apparently. Hey, put that on the hook. Yeah. No shit. Though there's about six more. So if you guys are watching right now and you know what this all is. I feel like that's fat. You think that's like fat? These are obviously the oranger eggs. We know that, guys. We're not completely brain dead. Oh, are we? I've actually found if you cut the head off right behind the gill point there, makes it a lot easier to like get in there. Light, those light orange ones mm -hmm. were all the way up in there. But so are the eggs, I guess. Yeah, but the, the eggs are like hooked together. Dude, I don't, I don't know, but put it back in, back into nature. Let them get nice and eaten by everything that lives here. 
I'm going to try with my numb hands as I try to hoist everything down the hole to not drop the entire carcass down the hole like I did with Coles last year, especially when I wash them. You want to get that vein out of there. All right, that's probably good enough. We can take it off each individual piece in a little bit. We're going to take the fins off. All right, now we're going to stake this thing, which is kind of at an angle because I cut behind the gill plate, so the first one's not going to be perfect shape. But... The cool thing about these trout are they are beautiful orange meat, orange is pink, like a salmon. Let me get this big and then these big plains lakes. We'll just kind of wipe that guy clean once we get them all done. Beauty. I'm going to fillet this back part here. I'm just going to let the skin on them. Nice big fillet. It's like we're filleting a fillet. Since we staked them and they're thick, we want to make sure we cook them pretty friggin' slow. Looks like we're gonna be eating stuff that tastes like fish because our uh, seasoning don't come out too well here. The only thing that works is cayenne and it works great, of course. John's fing got one. Shit. Thinks he is. A little bit slower moving. That'll work. Hell yeah, man. Another 19 or 20. He gave up at least. Go down. Goodbye. And gone. Sick. Good one, man. There you go, coleslaw. That's for you. Make sure you pull the bones out. They don't taste very good. Cook fish while we eat fish. Deal. That sounded like a win. That sounded like it's supposed to. That's a different one, I think. Yeah, it, it really bent the pole the whole time. You know, sometimes it kind of bounces. This time it just stayed down. Come on, buddy. Just finished eating some trout. Might be a better one. On a good rod. A new hot rod. Pumped about it. Finally got some nice ice fishing rods. Courtesy of my man Eric Hadia. Shout out to him. How does that ice stay on the line under the water and not break off? Right. <laughs> not melt off? Or catch the edge of the hole and break off. Anything. Hey, Just there 100% of the time. I'm probably being a Nance. It's probably not big. Well, that's a pretty one. Look at the colors on that thing. About like we've been catching though. Maybe a little bigger. Yeah. That's so hard to land. Nice, man. Pretty one. All right. Hell yeah, dude. That's got a little bit of cutthroat in it too. Look at the colors on that guy. Oh, he might not survive. We better keep him. He's bleeding out, but beautiful fish. Hey, buddy. Badass. <laughs> Stop. I'm on your rod too. Watch out, bud. Yeah, we'll be keeping this trout. He's uh, he got hooked a little bit deep. I thought he was a better one. It seemed like it was different head shakes, but on my new rod. I love it. Hell yeah. Well, we got one more trout to uh, take with us, and luckily that's a good thing because we're about to pack everything up. We got a bunch of jaw jackers to pick up. It's freaking windy. It's nasty out here. We're going to put the hut back in. This is a freaking blast out here. John's freaking dialed, per the usual, and uh, we caught a lot of fish. Fun day today.